Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a, a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising. <clears throat> a weekly tarot reading for June 3rd to uh, June 9th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away to the spread. All right, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Sagittarius this week, that is going to be uh, the death card, <clears throat> followed by the second one, which uh, stands for the challenges that Sagittarius needs to overcome for throughout the week. That will be the sun card. Afterwards, what we have, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is to be the six of swords. And the last one, guys, uh, which uh, stands for the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Sagittarius. Is. That will be the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so once again, uh, we do have the Death card standing as a topic, followed by the uh, Sun card, which stands for challenges. Afterwards, we do have the Six of Swords, standing for the uh, positive aspect of the week. And lastly, we have the... Um, Knight of Pentacles, which is uh, in regards to the uh, guidance. Okay, so um, it seems Sagittarius is that um, there are to be some things in flux uh, in regards to certain aspect of your life. It could take place into your career or into your relationship. It doesn't matter really uh, from the tarot standpoint. What matters is that as these things are in flux, that means that something has to change. Now, as the death card uh, prom uh, kind of like offers a change or kind of signifies change, in this case, in this week, it is up to you to provoke that change to happen. So it's uh, that thing which is in flux, this uh, field of your life which is in flux, desperately needs to change so a new life can sprinkle for it, from it, excuse me. And usually this is... Uh, associated with a, a two ways of change. Either one is to be substituting one thing for another, like substituting one relationship for another, substituting one, one job for another, etc., etc., or um, abandoning a uh, either a outdated habit that you may have or outdated positions that you are may adopting as well. Now, it's very important not to fight against uh, this change because uh, you have that blessing right now to have it on your turf, by your rules, to happen by your rules and to happen controllably. What I mean is that you can't control um, the rate and as well the way how the change is to happen. Should you try to stall time, however, it will... Um, how can I describe it? It will happen either way, but it just is going to be more painful uh, if you wait long enough. Uh, the accompanied card to the death, that is to be the Seven of Pentacles. And the formation, it is a um, passive, uh, passive friends. 
So uh, this card, it is very positive when it comes to the death, which points to the self-realization -realiz that you got to do something, all right, that you have to to change something, either with your marriage or either with your career. You know that with these couple of cards. The only problem comes how you can do it. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles, uh, as this card also sometimes tells us that a, a decisive event or circumstances are lurking just behind the corner, it may mean, you know, that as you struggle to do something productive, either career or relationship wise, suddenly you know the, the, the circumstances you require are appearing and you need to scope that moment of action, okay? But that itself uh, kind of takes us to the next card. But before we go there, I wanna say a more couple of words in regards to, the, to these uh, two cards. Um, it's very important to realize that not every time we make right choices, okay? And these couple of cards, the Death and the Seven of Pentacles, could be a reflection of a wrong decision that you did back in the days. And now you, you need to do the necessary to fix that decision, which is going to be the necessary actions to fix that decision may be a bit poignant, in a sense of that, let's say that you associated yourself with a person that you now find to be the wrong person for you. Well, you have to break their heart, you know, you need to abandon them and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like taking on a responsibility. Uh, these cards could point that you need to take on a responsibility and fix things that you did wrong back in the days. So the next one, uh, that will be the challenge itself, and we have the Sun card. So the Sun card only points or strictly points to that you may not enjoy, you know, the whole process of this uh, changing times. And that is completely normal. Uh, what I mean is that uh, before actually the energies of expansion and growth that the Sun card kind of offers to you, Sagittarius, is you need to all undergo this um, this important transition of yours, you know, you need to let go of these things which are in flux, which are walking away, which are not giving you any benefits anymore, which are only placing you into a standpoint of stagnation. And afterwards, you know, as, as soon as you burn those bridges with, uh, with the past or with the current situation, that is, uh, things are to start unfolding and naturally. Now, what the, uh, what the Sun card here mainly points is that you are going against your natural flow, your natural um, flow of events or natural paths. And now you need to regain that moving forward uh, into the future. Uh, the accompanied card, that will be the High Priestess, and the formation here is in an active enemies that we do have. So, um, there is a mismatching of what you feel and what your uh, logic tells you, okay, as uh, we do have the High Priestess here. And you will be guided by your intuition. It is just is going to be challenging for you to listen to your intuition. You know, your intuition tells you one thing or uh, your inner guidance tells you one thing. And yet, you know, your logic screams something different. Like, you know, your mind tells you to do this, but your heart screams, no, 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 you got to go to the other one. All right. So it's very important to follow your uh, intuition because the high priestess actually very strongly weakens the uh, negative aspect of the sun, which is that blockage of a uh, productive energy and going against your natural flow, your natural path that you need to move on from now on. The next card that we have for you, Sagittarius, is that is to be the positive aspect, and this is to be the Six of Swords. It is a very beneficial card in such a follow-up. Six of Swords are uh, points that should you take, uh, let's say, the risk or should you be courageous enough to do what it is needed, in this case, burning out those bridges and doing whatever it's necessary to provoke this change that regards to the matters of flux in your life, um, then you are significantly going to improve your circumstances. Additionally to that, the Six of Swords tells you guys 
uh, there isn't much things that you can screw up. It's basically what, how can be worse than that, you know, in this specific field, you know, either a career, relationship, friendships, and so on and so forth. So that is the good thing about this reading, that the reading takes place exactly where you need it, exactly where you need something to go different in a different way. But it's not going to happen on its own accord, unfortunately. You need to uh, first be determined to do... Uh, to provoke that change or to take on these um, decisive events or circumstances which are to appear behind the corner, like I said. And uh, on top of that, you need to be courageous as well enough to traverse the threshold. Just make the first step, you know, just traverse with one foot beyond the threshold of initiation and you will see how things are start falling up together you know how the pieces of the puzzles the puzzle are brought um are brought together yeah the accompanied card here that will be the eight of uh, the eight of swords <clears throat> and the formation it is in an active uh supporters so uh the eight of swords points and strongly suggests that we're talking about a, a correction of a past mistake or a past decision that you took wrongly okay and uh, the, the Eight of Swords here tells us a couple of things to the Six of Swords. First of all, that everything is within your hands. And if you don't do something, you know, to improve your circumstances, nothing or no, no one else are going to, is going to do. And also points that you will very well going to recognize that you are in this position because of you. Not because of someone else, but like I said, because of you, which is going to be totally fine. I mean, you're going to take it as a... Uh, a lesson well learned and that is a big thing and additionally to that these couple of cards are pointing also to another very strong lesson that you need to um how can i describe it you know you you, you should not constrain only with your current options available but uh, instead you know that week will teach you how to consider even options available that goes beyond your explanation exploration excuse me and beyond your deliberation either now uh the last card that takes place here that is to be uh the knight of pentacles and this is the guidance the tarot is uh, offering to you sagittarius and the Knight of Pentacles, it is more like a wishful card than anything else. First of all, the, the Knight of Pentacles, it is so, it points you that right now the place that you are finding yourself at is not really what you want. So the Knight of Pentacles asks you to define for yourself what you really want in regards to your marriage, or in regards to your career. And after you realize what you really, really want, to start making decisive and compassionate actions toward it which actions are to provoke the change that you require. The accompanied card here, that will be the, the King of Swords and the formation, it is a, a passive enemies that we have. So uh, it's more like a uh, resignation. It's more like adopting a, a resigned standpoint that, you know, it's, it's inevitable, okay? And no matter what you do, the only thing that you can, in order to uh, save, for example, the situation and not undergo the uh, the transformation here or the change, it's only going to hurt. You are only going to hurt yourself. And for that reason, you are to be resigned in regards to that you have to do something despite that this may hurt other people or may put other people into disadvantageous um, position. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you have to improve your own circumstances because otherwise you're sacrificing your own uh, personal positive circumstances in order to make other people happy. And if that's, say, if that's your calling, I mean, if this is what you want, then, then you're completely free to just succumb to the current circumstances and not allow the change to happen or do not provoke the change to happen. But these cards are, are, are telling you, Sagittarius, is that you do have the opportunity to make something different, to alter your outcome. Are you courageous and, and determined enough to do so? Well, that depends on you guys. And uh, with that being said, a, uh, this was your um, weekly tarot reading for June 3rd to June 9th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.